What's good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson. I'm back at it again, man. And welcome to another episode of The Celebrity Junk, man. And today, I actually got my hands on this article. Again, you know, I'm always on Black Facebook. Black Facebook is lit, man. I got to get on Black Twitter. I don't have a Twitter account, but Black Facebook is lit. Shout out to my man, Rob Parks, man. He's always over there getting it cracking. And I came across this particular article that was written, I want to say about a year ago or a year and a half ago, maybe in two, sometime in 2018, almost two years ago. And it was uh, written by our friends over at Madame Noir. And it's called Black Men Are Providers because we allow them to be contributors. Now, when I looked at who wrote the article, and if we could see it's Ara, uh, I don't know, Chukwu at the end. So I don't know, again, if this is somebody that is, I mean, I, 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 we're, we're, I already we're starting off on the wrong foot because this person is, I don't think is African American. So when she's talking about our culture, I don't know if maybe her father is African, her mom's, african-american but again i don't i don't really know if this is a person that's like a nigerian american or a ghanaian american i really don't know how this would apply to their culture talking about african-americans but okay maybe she's half and half and so i'll rock with it okay but the article is very interesting um she starts off with this person's tweet which is called if my man pays for lunch i'll pay for dinner if he pays for movie tickets i got the snacks if it gets the bill, I'll get the next. 50-50 is where it's at. Stop expecting to be treated like a queen if you're not treating him like a king. And whoever Cassie G is, they got over 272,000 hearts on Twitter. So this article was pretty much talking about, you know, your spouse and your boyfriend is not your roommate, you know, and a lot of black women um, are in 50-50 relationships okay and um you know we are not allowing black men to be providers like other groups all right you know hispanics asians in fact their men um make less money yet they do more than black men and she talks she makes some pretty interesting points she talks about you know that the 50 50 is not really always equal you know, that means you need to be paying, you know, 50 50 cooking, cleaning, school care, organizing holidays, making household purchases, stuff like that. Right. Um, and she also talks about how much housework women do. Women do 80 percent of housework. Um, so really, it's not a really a 50 50, but really black women are actually getting the little that they're getting because they don't require black men to do much more. Right. And um, this is a problem, as the writer will say, in the black community. Um, a lot of black men are not accustomed to being providers in the house because black women allow them to become uh, contributors. And um, she talks about also, you know, 54, 50 to 40, 50.4 percent of white households boast uh, male breadwinners, and 50.8 percent of uh, Asian households do the same. And while she makes some good parts in uh, uh in, in in some good statements in in this article and i won't read the whole thing i will post this article in the first comment pinned to the top i i do want to say that there are some inconsistencies or some things that are not put out there that i have some i take issue with and some of the things are this when you talk about white men and asian men that are taking care of the house Hispanic men that are taking care of the house, all right? In comparison to 18% of black households. What is the respect level of those women in general in comparison to black men, all right? And the question also is, are black women mature enough, many of them, are they ready enough to be provided for, all right? We got to be honest about the situation. And, you know, like I said, a lot of black women, they come up and I talk about this all the time. We come up in situations where, and I'm going to say this, black women go to school for the same reasons that black men go to school for. I'm going to make a separate video on that. Black women are also trying to help their family. 
All right, let's not get it twisted. When black women are going to college and black women are going to get their education, black women are going for the same reasons that black men are going. They are trying to be the breadwinners in their families. All right, a lot of black women get motivated to go to college and do very well because they want to take care of mom. They want to take care of grandma. They have siblings, right? They're going and trying to do the same thing that a lot of women are, that a lot of men are doing. But what happens is when you get in that attitude, you don't really position yourself to be the counterpart to a man that you can be provided for, right? You don't necessarily have more of a, a perspective that's maybe a little bit more soft, uh, a perspective that allows a man to lead more, right? Because really, what 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 happens in, in the black community is Hispanic women are okay in playing their role. Their men are gonna lead. Their men are gonna provide. Asian, their men are gonna lead. Their men are gonna provide. Sisters are gonna have more of a problem with. Now, at the same time, what they're gonna want is they are gonna want you to give your money. They're gonna want you to be providing. But they're gonna have a hard time with you leading. They're gonna have a harder time with you know being submissive to you. Because again, that's not really what they have been trained to do. And when you look at Hispanics in their culture of, you know, women acquiescing to the men, and like I said, it's not like black men don't have the money, you know, black Hispanic men earn less the money than black men, right? So we know that black men have more money to, to, to do these things. The reasons why black men are not doing it in many cases is because, and I'm gonna say this, a lot of women don't want to be provided for. You know, a lot of women want to be provided for on their terms, and they feel like, you know, well, I have more education, I want to this, whatever. Um, I don't have to answer to no man, so that's kind of a, 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 you know, take it or leave it. So when you when you do get in relationships where you're you have that mindset then what you're gonna get is a 50-50 guy, all right? And a 50-50 guy for, you know, women who have that attitude, that's actually a really good deal for you, all right? If you're a person that feels like you don't need to be submitting to authority of a man, um, you got this, you know, you, you're you doing what you need to do, you know, you're his equal in every way, that's your, you know, that's your prerogative, if that's your perspective, then that's what you need to be. Guys who can do 80, 20, 90, 10, or 100, zero, for the most part, they're not gonna take that sort of attitude. And, and like I said, that defense mechanism that black women have had to adapt because of coming from, you know, an empire versus situation or not having, you know, all of the resources coming to them growing up. I mean, I, and we, we, we understand it, right? But then at the same time, a lot of times sisters are more comfortable with dealing with guys who make the same or less money than them, all right? Um, a lot of sisters are okay with that. 50-50 is like, all right, I can kind of control you. I can wear the pants in this relationship. You answer to me, all right? I lead you, I'm a woman, I lead you, and you don't lead me. You are kind of like the female in the relationship. And there are some sisters that will, they, they do like that. But at the same time, you pick that kind of guy and then you get frustrated because he's too docile or he can't lead or he's not aggressive enough. And now all of a sudden you're looking for like, are you mad at your own decision? The reality is, is that a lot of sisters, are, I think for brothers that have the means, the mental infrastructure and fortitude, to tell you, you know, this is how this relationship is going to go. You're going to be uh, submissive. You're going to do this or that. For a lot of sisters, that's hard for them to get in that mindset with a man when they, they come across that caliber and they kind of shook. It's un uncharted territories for them. It's uncomfortable. A lot of sisters are all are used to being around men that, you know, the guys are impressed with what they're doing, you know? Um, you know, I, I, a lot of the brothers that I know, and, and although this is um, not a very big representation 
of what's going on in, the, in, in America. But, you know, I, I do come across brothers who are six figure earners. I do come across brothers who are medical doctors. And that, that's in my circle. Brothers who are real estate agents, brothers who have MBAs. OK. And all of these guys, for the most part, are not looking for somebody to tell them that they're not trying to get you're not trying to submit to them. All right. Those guys don't want to hear that. They they're not going to hear that. And, you know, you're going to need to be coming to the table with what you need. Are you going to be getting up out of there? A lot of sisters are a little bit threatened with that. OK, they're threatened by, you know, a guy that's doing very well. Not all, but some um, that don't really need them. Um, the guy has his own money. He has his own situation and they have a problem with that. So, you know, we got to be honest about this thing. You know, like I said, um, this is what's going on in the black community. And, um, you know, that's my perspective on it. You know, if you're getting 50, 50, what are you doing to put yourself in the position to be submissive? Are you studying what those Asian women are doing? Those white women are doing? Are you feminine like them, you know, because you would get that from black men if you are the same quality of woman that those guys are, right? But a lot of sisters are looking for the same things, but you're not looking to put in that same work. So anyways, hit your boy up, hit the bell, subscribe. It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson. Comment below. The buffoonery remains at an all-time high. Also, don't forget uh, patreon.com backslash Negro Manosphere. Subscribe to your boy. Also, get you a Black Men Perfect t-shirt. We out this piece. Out.